I went to Kamakura, which is a beach on the coast of Japan near Tokyo. It's famous for its great Buddha, and it's also famous for its beaches, which uh, are supposed to have a great view of Mount Fuji. It's a view which has been recorded by various Japanese artists in history. And when I was there, I got to see the tetrapods that Alex Kerr talks about in his book Dogs and Demons. Dogs and Demons is subtitled Tales from the Dark Side of Japan. It's about problems with the Japanese economy and environment, etc. When you find images of the Kamakura Beach on the internet, they're almost always the same as this Hiroshiga print. They're facing to the east, and that's because if you face east, you can still see a nice picturesque view of the beach. But if you switch and you face west, then that's where the uh, tetrapods are. So you can see in this aerial view where some of them are located. They stick out into the bay a little bit and they also line portions of the beach and you rarely see this unless you see uh, some images of people surfing. So I'm going to read a short excerpt from Dogs and Demons about the tetrapods and I'm going to show you the pictures of them that I took when I was in Kamakura and also after the video is over you can look in the notes to the video and I'll put some links to some other YouTube videos I found where you can see the tetrapods. Kerr says, By 1993, 55% of the entire coast of Japan had been lined with cement slabs and gigantic concrete tetrapods. Tetrapods may be an unfamiliar word to readers who have not visited Japan and seen them lined up by the hundreds along bays and beaches. They look like oversized jacks with four concrete legs, some weighing as much as 50 tons. Tetrapods, which are supposed to retard beach erosion, are big business. However, these projects are mostly unnecessary or worse than necessary. It turns out that wave action on tetrapods wears away the sand faster and causes greater erosion than would be the case if the beaches had been left alone. <laughs> 